Oh my gosh, good morning vlog. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you're new here. And it is currently, well, it's now 10 to 7, but I woke up at quarter to 7. Today is a Tuesday, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through my school morning routine. I do have my retainer in, so that's really cute. So this is going to be kind of like a bit of a vlog style thing. But first thing I do every morning when I get up is I open up my Bible Inspirations app, and it looks a little bit like this. And it's just like a Bible verse, and then it has a bit of like a the Bible verse at the top, and then I can't do this with one hand. And then you scroll, 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 and it has a prayer. And it has a journal entry. So I read you guys the prayer. Holy Father, I claim your promises of health and restoration. Please wash me and cleanse me. Thank you for loving this outcast so completely. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. And it's such a positive way to start my day. So that's that. And then normally I spend about 10 minutes or so then scrolling through social media. Because we love a good bad habit. Today's Tuesday. This video's going up on Saturday. Oh my gosh. If you guys are watching this, there's going to be a lot of new people a lot of unfamiliar faces for me because normally my videos are viewed by my close friends and people I for the most part know but <laughs> I can't tell you that I personally know 8,013 people I'm not really too sure what's going on here I think YouTube may be broken so I'm just gonna go through some social media for a bit and then I'm gonna go jump in the shower because I realized last night I didn't wash my hair so I'm gonna need to do that but I'll see you guys after okay hi this looks really stupid because I've got my screen uniform underneath but I don't want to have to blur it out so we're just gonna recycle my jumper from a couple of videos ago but I've had a shower, wash my hair as you can see because I look like a bald rat but I'm going to put my jewellery now. I get lots of questions about my jewellery so I'm going to take this time to explain where it is all from for you guys. So first up we have this little tiara ring and that is from Pandora and then next up we have another one from Pandora which is just like a zigzaggy one which goes on this finger right here and then we have this little bow one which goes on here no this is not my ring finger this is my ring finger here so don't worry then we have just this plain chain and that just goes on this wrist right here I set up like I have multiple wrists I only have two guys don't worry and then last but certainly not least we have my little Karen Walker runaway girl necklace which if you're from New Zealand you will be very very familiar with this and likelihood of you knowing someone who owns one of these is quite high because a lot of people have them in New Zealand and this is not focusing at all. The Daisy Love perfume which is running out makes me want to cry. I'm not going to eat it this time. I get a lot of questions about my makeup routine. I don't wear makeup because I just don't know how to do it and just my skin won't like it so I know that it's not a good idea. But yeah, I just brush out my eyebrows like so. This is really hard to do with holding a camera as well. Oh well, they're sisters, not brother, no, wait, no, what? They're cousins, not sisters, it's fine. My forehead's breaking out, something shocking, because I'm on some new medication for my psoriasis. And if you don't know what that is and you're new here, because there's a lot of new people here, I have a skin condition called psoriasis, um, which is where my skin grows too fast in some places and then goes real, like... You can see here, this is psoriasis. But then the side effect is that I get acne, so that's really, really cute. I'm going to head downstairs, and I'm going to pack a lunchbox, and I'm going to have some breakfast. And it's currently half past seven. So let's go. I'm going to cook some gluten-free toast. No, I'm not gluten-free. I just try and be where I can. While my toast is cooking, I... I'm going to pack a lunchbox and if you've been around for like a month or so, not that long, you will have possibly seen my what I eat in a day, like school edition. And it's already changed from that. It's only getting worse, it's only getting less healthy. This is what my lunch kind of looks like. I don't have a lunchbox, so we've got kettle corn, some banana chips, almonds and dark chocolate. A uh, feed you a muffin, Doritos, <laughs> nuts, a uh, whole food bar, chocolate coated Oreos and veggie sticks and i'm not proud of it i'm not proud of it at all right so i'm just gonna sit here and i'm gonna eat my peanut butter on toast with my water that's parked over there while watching the breakfast show because call me stupid i don't care i watch the breakfast show every morning and i love it so i have migrated back to my room and i'm now packing my school bag with my lunch. I can't do this one hand. No, I actually can do it with one hand. 
myself leave guys goes a long way sometimes pick up my blue light glasses for when i'm in class actually what day is it today tuesday i'm gonna take my laptop charge today because otherwise my laptop's gonna die and then it's gonna be fun i need to put all this into my bag but i need to hands for that so i'll catch you soon i just drive my hair with the hair dryer because i need to get moving otherwise i'm gonna be late for school i just brush my teeth as well but i didn't take my camera in there because the bathroom's like grand central station this morning with the whole fun i'm getting ready so i'm going to straighten my hair i'm going to talk you guys through it kind of to an extent because i get a lot of questions about how i straighten my hair first things first i get a lot of questions about the actual straightener itself so this is the cloud nine words going on in my head but the wide um Wide iron, there we go, wide iron, that's what we're looking for. And then for like the heat protectant, if you're straightening your hair, I would definitely use a heat protectant just because, I mean, that I straighten my hair at 175 degrees and your hair's not made to be cooked. So I use either this one, which is a heat protectant, like a spray, or I use the Tony and Guy one. This one is way more expensive. This is like $17 for a bottle, whereas this is like $6.50. So I try and get the, what is that V05 or V05 or whatever? I try and get that one where I can, but it's a lot harder to find. Hi, Ma. No, it's not hiding me, it's hiding me. I feel legal. <laughs> It's now 8 minutes past 8. My hair is straight. It was a bit of a task actually because my hair was still kind of damp. So I wouldn't recommend straightening like wet or damp hair. But I'm going to head off to school now. Thank you guys so much for watching. My socials are always linked down below. You guys are absolutely incredible. And I'll see you guys next week. Make sure to smile and I'll catch you later. Hey, feeling good. Like I should. When in the boat. Yay. <laughs> I'm just trying to like... Oh, it's hot. Every day can be a better day despite the challenge. All you got it.